morning guys so if you've been following our instagram and facebook pages you'll know that we've had a pretty horrendous week with tilly um which we did film some in the hospital just after she had it done so i'll get Noel to insert it here for you just so that you know so that i don't have to go into it again so put it in now <laughs> So yeah, as you can imagine, it's been a very stressful, upsetting week. Obviously, you can't. It's been you can't. You know, you can, you can plan for her having a frame on her leg. Hi, sweetheart. But this was totally, you know, just out of the blue and just really, just awful, and made worse by the fact that they couldn't actually put a pot on the fracture because of her frame. So anyway, she did it on Friday. We're now the following sure. Saturday, and we were hoping that Tilly would be able to come home yesterday, Friday. But when she had her physio, she couldn't get out of her wheelchair to hold the frame with her leg straight down. So um, anyway, she has had physio, physio again this morning, and she can come home. Yeah, look at this picture. Noel sent us this picture of her that is the face of absolute joy. happiness and joy <gasps> that she can come home so that's where we're going to go we're going to go and pick them up now no stayed last night and um yeah so we're all ready to go and pick her up i'm going to just nip oh, into the great. shop and go and get some um the nightmare of trying to get her out. She's happy in the oh yeah that was another nightmare because her leg is now extended out please she Me can't fit in the she cannot fit in in the car so it's a really good job that we have the minibus because oh, the seats so in the back some of them have a lot of leg room where she can just her leg can just be out straight so thank god for that because otherwise i don't know what we would have done anyway um so yeah that's that oh what do you want you can't sweet out because i've got to go and get tilly and i can't manage everybody in the hospital but you can see when she comes home yeah can't you so um yeah. so yes that's where we're at and obviously tilly's delighted we're all delighted because santa's coming soon look at my top wait how long days is it santa's coming are we excited now tilly's coming that's that's mum's face so we will catch you in a bit guys i'm just gonna set off now and go and get her so not good news at all Noel's just phone from the hospital um and basically she's had the x-ray done which was a real palaver to even get her to have the x-ray done she was shouting and screaming didn't want anybody to touch her but the result of that is that she's fractured her bone at the top of her leg he said normally what we would do is put a full length um cast on but obviously they can't do that because she's got the frame on so she now needs to go to older hair just phoned um, the fixating nurse and just explain to her what's going on and she says right um, she'll need to come straight through to Alder here, go to the A&E she's going to contact Tilly's consultant Mr James and it's going to be an operation a bit later on today where she will have to have um, the fixator extended to wherever she's broken it absolute nightmare Anything else could go wrong for her, bless her, it just would. Just one thing after another. But, um, anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going through there. They don't know if they're going to be taking her through in the ambulance, if she's comfortable enough to drive with us, then we'll do that. But if it's not, obviously, then it will have to be an ambulance for her. So I'm just waiting to find out know if they're going to take her in the ambulance or if we're going to be taking her. I will let you know on that day. So we are back in Liverpool at Alder Hay with Tilly. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, she's fractured a leg, a bad leg. So we've had to come back here. Uh, we've been here a couple of hours. So I'm just going to have to get something to eat for Sue and I. Um, we don't know what the plan of action is yet. All I know is she's in a lot of pain. She's had loads of painkillers. Uh, so we're just waiting for them to sort of kick in and do the job but then she's got to go for some x-rays so she's really worried about that uh, so we don't really know what we're going to do yet 
Uh, we need to see the surgeon and talk through it with him. What we'll do, because basically now they have to stop the knee from bending at all, so they've got to straighten the leg out completely, we think. So the leg can't bend and let this fracture heal, which takes about six to eight weeks. Um, so yeah, it's really, really, really feel sorry for her, to be honest. She's having such a tough time. She's doing so well previously with on the crutches and what have you. <clears throat> and now we're back to this. So she's really, she's so upset um, because this weekend, now, we should actually be in Germany going to the Christmas markets and other things. I think we had all the range for this weekend. So anyway, that's where we're up to. Uh, and as soon as we find anything else, we'll let you know. So we um, we haven't vlogged today at all. It's the day after Tilly had her accident and well, neither of us have just felt like vlogging at all. But basically, um, Tilly's had her operation today. They, um, what she's done is she's she's um, broken um, the growth plate on her femur. They didn't realise how bad it was until they took her down to operate this afternoon. Um, because the x-rays that she had at our local hospital they couldn't really get a good look because she was in too much pain basically they had an idea of um, obviously where the break was but they didn't realise how bad the break was um, and it's gone through the whole of her femur growth plate which obviously is an absolute nightmare I don't know if um, they don't know if it will have damaged. Well, it obviously has damaged the growth plate for a femur, so they don't know if that bone will now stop growing. We just have to hope that it doesn't, and it's all right. But obviously. Morning guys, so today is Tilly's operation day. I'm just gonna go and head off down now to Liverpool. Sue's already there, she was there last night and the night before, and I was there the previous two nights. Um, so she's having this extra metal frame fitted all around her leg to support, so, well basically so she, can, so she can't bend her knee because she's broken her leg above the knee. Oh, well, the growth plate anyway. We'll explain it all later. So I'm just gonna head off down there now. It's about an hour and a bit to get there. Uh, our operation is at nine o'clock this morning, so I just want to get there fairly early, uh, in case all of a sudden, you know, decide oh, we're ready now, we'll go down a bit earlier. So, at home there is Chloe, Millie, and some of the older boys. I'm not sure who's at work today, so they'll be helping looking after little ones. Sophie's doing a school run for me. Um, and that's where we're up to. Everything's in a pickle at the minute. The house is, we've got no floor. The flooring man's supposed to be arriving tomorrow. Um, and then the, the, the three piece suite, that's arriving the next day. So everything's just happening at the wrong time at the moment. So anyway, nothing we can do about that. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Yes, yeah, so we're on day five. So she came down to hospital on Friday they did they were going to do an operation the other day and pin the bone back together but anyway they went down but that was just going to be temporary yeah that was a temporary fix so they went down to do that operation uh once they got in there they decided it doesn't actually need pinning so they've put it in this huge massive cast from a foot all the way up to a hip plus it goes around her frame as well frame. her external frame um so that she's had that since Sunday, Saturday. Sat since Saturday. Uh, so that's been on for three days, and just now, well, about an hour or so ago, she's gone down to surgery again. So what they're doing, the cast is coming off, and she's having some more 
external fixators put on the top of a leg, top half, and they're going to connect up to the bottom half and it'll all be one rigid frame. She, she basically won't be able to move her knee. She can't bend the knee at all, no. So that'll be that for six, eight weeks. Um, they might today, if possible, put some hinges on it, on the knee area, which they will lock. And then once the bone's fixed at the top of the leg, they can unlock them and then she should be able to bend the knee again. With any luck, that's the plan. <coughs> it's just now, she's in this situation in the first place with the, the, her first frame because of her growth plate which was damaged years ago. And now this one's damaged of the, of the, of the you know, the top fibula. half of the leg, the fibula, that's the word, thank you very much. Uh, so we'll just hope, yeah, it is. Fema. That's the one, the fema. fema. Which is, the, which is your, obviously your top half of your Yeah. Leg. So we're just hoping that that's not damaged too much where it stopped growing. Uh, it was cracked and it was crushed as well, so it's not the best outcome really. The doctor kind of described it as, this is your growth plate here. And basically the bottom half here is the half where um, that's your actual growth plate that if that gets damaged then it's it's really not good but also this is another part of your growth plate I can't remember what's in the middle but anyway she's basically cracked through this part the top part and it's gone halfway down but but as well as doing that she's also crushed it which she said is probably worse because she's crushed the actual part of the growth plate which makes the leg grow so he said that you know she could well have stopped the bone from growing but they won't know that for at least another they won't know that for a long they won't time know that yeah. for a while so they're going to just have to keep on doing regular checks to to keep an eye on that basically because they can't say whether it's damaged or not but it, it's not good the way that she's actually done it is not good is no. it no but it's been made worse because of the pins that go into her knee site, isn't mm. it? Because her knee was already bent like that, and she, she couldn't, couldn't straighten, straighten it her out. Leg, when she? she's gone down, it's straightened out, and she's basically um, crushed the other, the top part of it as mm. well. So yeah. So that is where we're up to, guys. She is now down in surgery still. She's been there for a good hour. I think it's about two and a half hours. From leaving here to hopefully coming back upstairs with us, um, she she seemed to be all right. Sometimes she was coping with it quite well. The thought of going down there again, but then you could see her face drop when all the surgeons and everybody came in today, and you know, to she was just I dread to think what's going through her poor little mind, She's poor little been thing. Through too much, hasn't she? So I mean, the surgeon's brilliant. He doesn't want the frame to stay on any longer than, than what? what it should have done in the first mm. place. So he's tweaking things so we can so that we can get, get to where she sh she would have been had this not have happened mm. because obviously we've not been able to do any turns and um and lengthen the, the leg or such and the we? bone itself that was broken in the bottom half so that they could lengthen it is closing it's healing up so basically he's going to now do some tweaking um and lengthen it a, a good few days ahead of where we should have been so that it doesn't put Tilly back and that she'll have to stay in the frame for longer but he's also said that um, he he may decide to stop the turn sooner um, depending on how mm. much length they've already got mm. they? so we don't know yet we'll just have to wait and see when it comes back but either way yep. it's just been an absolute disaster really and poor Tilly she's been through enough and she just kept saying you don't want to have this operation and but there was absolutely mm. nothing else that There's they could just do nothing they, they couldn't yeah. put I was desperate for them to just be able to just put a pot on. Yeah, just put a cast foot. on and leave it there, but, but they, they just can't. Do that. They just can't because of the the pin sites and where they are. It's just not doable. Mm. They just can't do it. So this is the only way yeah, that the only alternative, it. isn't it? Yeah. But instead of having another operation to remove this frame that's going on the top of the leg in in six weeks when it's all healed, they are going to just leave that on and put the hinges on. And just take the lot off at the same time, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, once she's finished, which yeah. Is, which is better, really. So. Yeah, well, it's one less operation for her, bless her. So, that's where we're up to. Uh, we'll just sit here now and wait for her and catch up with you later when she's back. 
so we've just got home a little while ago. Sophie was here with Uncle Daisy and Leo. They've just left. Tilly is just chilling on the sofa. Aren't you, darling? <laughs> Looking at Christmas presents. Bonnie, I see you. Bonnie is just down there. I see you. And guys, look, we've had the living room done, which we haven't obviously had a chance to show you. So I think you saw that on the last vlog was the wallpaper. Got the flooring down. I'm just waiting on a big rug coming for, that will fill up quite a bit. Of this. Do you want to go in your car? This toy box is going, so I need to try and find some different toy storage for that. Because obviously that's no good for in this room anymore because it doesn't fit down here. I've got curtains. They're not. We're having to have them specially made because they're such big windows. Um, they were supposed to be ready this coming Monday but anyway they had a bit of problem getting the fabric for them so they're not it's not they're not coming until the week after I think it's the 23rd but anyway they will look beautiful when they're done can't wait to see those up so yeah that's it new sofas BB is looking very tired there BB why don't you show everybody your jumper are you tired Show everybody your flashy jumper, darling. What is that there? Is that coming up? Go on then. Can you do it? That's it. Whoa. Look at this dum dum dum. Wow. What did you say to mummy this morning? You said, Santa Claus is coming. Did you? Do you like your jumper? Yeah. Yeah, is it good? So. So we're just getting, we're just waiting for Noel to come back from work and then I think we're going to put the Christmas tree up and get into the Christmas spirit. Should we put the Christmas tree up? What do you think? Yes. I think you're tired, aren't you? You were up early this morning. Why did you have to get up so early? There's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. Look at somebody. <laughs> Wait, clever girl. Clever girl. What are you doing? Right, oh. It's well wrapped. It is. What well, hello Archie, what's this? <laughs> yeah, you play with the tape. I think it's all stuck around the top yet, here look. Oh look, Bonnie's getting in on it. Hiya. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at them, they're all in. Look at Nintendo. No way. No way. And Minecraft. Oh my goodness, what do you say? Thank you very much. Has that made your Christmas? Wow, I'm telling you about the cars you have to use this year. Are you going to see? Nintendo shop. Did you see it? Whoa. But well, you weren't expecting that, were you? Yeah. Go on then, read the card. Hello to Tilly, I hope you enjoy this and also I hope you feel better soon. Send you lots of love, Lizzie. Lizzie. Yeah. That's a nice card. I just want to... Okay. Oh, you've got a game as well. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> wow, that's so nice. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, Where's it gone? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, they're setting it up for you. Blah, it didn't that long, does it? Right, who's setting this up to Tilly, Tilly then? Or does anybody know how? I think she wants to do it. Alright, okay then. Look after the box. I think you've got something to keep it in. My friend's going to be jealous because he might eat one of these. Did he? Who's yeah. that? All oh, right. No, I like the colour. That's a nice yeah. colour. I actually wanted um, a Nintendo in that colour. Did you? Yeah. I feel like they're ready for mine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So I think you forgetting about it. Wow, that's so kind. Do you want to take it out of the charger? The charger? You want to take it out of its packaging. <laughs> no, you should. It's yours. Nice. Oh, wow. Mm. That is cool. Turn it around. Let's have a look. Wow. Nice. Honestly, thank you so much. Yeah. Who that sent it? I forgot Lizzie. Lizzie, yeah. Thank you, Lizzie. So, 
We are. What are we doing, guys? We're getting the tree. We're putting the tree up. One tree. No, yours. It needs titivating, no. Come on. What? Uh, let let me in. Yeah, you, you get in. Titivate your tree. Right, I'm gonna need the lights out, which is actually your job. Will we need an extension lead? I'll no, we've got plug sockets right behind yeah, you. I'm not sure. Oh, you wow. might need one for that. that. That's going to be a thing for me, I'm sorry, but that. And the stockings. Well, do you know what? I was just about to bring Mum's stockings up. I know. I thought oh. I, won't, I won't bring them up because Mum will go, Look, no, well, I can't put them up. So, what are you doing? What, 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 seriously, what I'm going to do. Well, we've got that picture that somebody suggested where they hang them on like a rail. Oh, yes. No, I'll, I'll go and buy a rail. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. that tonight. Oh, hang them on the stairway. staircase. Hang them up there. Up there. You can hang them all down there. Yeah, you could do actually. That's quite a nice idea. There's not enough steps. You'd have to uh, double up on a few. Right, just let's put, we're not putting those on yet. We need to put all of the lights on before we do that. Yeah. Yeah. Two years after. Look, and there's this other there's one. There's the other one, a little. Where's the one? That one, do you think? Um, there, there. You think? Where's the one? Where's the one? Wait, no, put it next to the it's star. It's up there, Millie. Put it's it next to the star and put it up. Put and the then star. We've got this one. We got this one. Give them to somebody. Put his star next to it. Oh, that's a nice one, Millie. I've got Alpha this one. Wait, the angel's not the right way. Do you want me to sort it out? You can't reach, don't you? Wait, yeah, Daniel. Um, yeah, Daniel. Mum, put the star on the top. Yeah, I'll put the star on top. Do you want to get on my shoulders, Mum? <laughs> God, I'd love to see that. Casper, who... Wait, can you actually do that? Yeah, if Daniel holds you, you can put it up on there, yeah? Well, that's what I'm putting on there. What star? The star. Where is the star? It's in that box. Oh, they've gone downstairs. Oh, I just thought you could get it. Come on, Daniel. You got this, yeah? Hey, right, you need to put these on the train. Face bump. Face bump again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's excited for Christmas. Yay. This is my tent. Right, how good is that tree? I think we've done a good job with the tree. Oh, I, I need to do yeah, I think I love this yeah. one. I really do And all just an old Good job there, Noel. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, right, here we go. Come on. Yeah, I'm not really strong. That's all really fine. Do you know what you're doing, Casper? Yeah. Good lad. Bit nearer. You can't reach. You can't reach. <laughs> Yay. No, mate, so it's on top. Is it on? Right. Is it on? It looks like it's on. Yay! Looks like it's on. Yay, well done, Casper. <laughs> looks like it's on. Let's have a look. I am, I am loving this jumper. I am loving it. Like my jumper. Yeah. Is Mum's good? Yeah. Yeah. Mum's the size of an elf. Oh, 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 Mum's the size of an we actually didn't think that she was going to be able to come home before Christmas because um, because she got a fracture. She's had to get the occupational therapist involved and they had to come out and do a home visit and just check different things. Anyway, they were wanting Tilly to have a bed downstairs, a commode downstairs and lots of other different things. And the other thing that they're wanting is for a ramp outside for the wheelchair anyway um and of course they did say that because she's not going to be in the frame for a year they don't normally fund a ramp 
so we would have to fund it which which wasn't a problem luckily we're in a position where we could afford to do that if needed but um anyway they have decided that they are going to put one out there but um we didn't want a bed and a commode down here for her and neither did anybody else that was involved with tilly's care the fixator nurses just everybody her consultant surgeon everybody involved in tilly's care when these children have these frames on they the first thing that they say to you when you go for your appointment is that they have to keep everything as normal as can possibly be for them because it's obviously a massive thing and um they just like to keep it as normal as possible for them which you, which means you know their bed in their own bedroom going to the toilet and no beds downstairs and things like that so we I mean, all kind of looked at each other like well but we've always been told that you know we're not to change any of that because but to keep it as normal as possible. Anyway, he was like, well, she can't really come home until all of that's sorted. But luckily everybody involved in Tilly's care said, no, that's not happening, you know, everything has to stay as normal as possible for it. And you know, which includes her bed upstairs and all the rest of it. So anyway, she's home and in time for Christmas, which is amazing, but we do need to get that ramp sorted for outside so hopefully that will be maybe this week possibly next but in the meantime she's just going to go down on her bum and up on her bum and we're just going to put a towel on the steps for her to do that because we're not allowed to lift her for health and safety reasons so yeah that's what we're doing but other than that we obviously can't use the car because she can't straighten the leg out far enough so we have to use the mini bus, which is probably going to be a nightmare for the hospital appointments every Thursday because we can't get it in the multi-storey bit of the hospital. But I really have got to say, older here, amazing. Everybody that's been involved with Tilly's care has just been amazing. She's had um, a child psychologist who was just lovely and amazing you know that doesn't just support Tilly but supports the whole family as well which has been very well needed this week um so yeah just they, they really have been amazing which has made a big difference I think to Tilly you know recovering and getting home anyway she's just gone off to bed we're just going to get tidied up and I'm going to have a good night's sleep well saying that probably won't have a good night's sleep because in hospital Tilly has been waking up a little bit during the night but we'll just have to see how it goes but anyway bye for now guys